Good day YouTube. Linux Lad here with another comparison video. So today I'm taking a look at the latest release of Ubuntu. So Ubuntu 22.10 versus Ubuntu the long-term service release. So 22.04. Now, with the latest release that's come out just a couple of months ago, uh, actually a little bit less, Ubuntu 22.10. Uh, well, starting off, I'll just let you know the, the latest and greatest code name. So for this one here, we call it Kinetic Kudu. Uh, whereas the long-term service release is just whatever it wants to be. But uh, basically, uh, let's take a look here. So I'll start off with the, the similarities on the, the desktop interface. So we are still running with the GNOME desktop environment there, as you can plainly see. In fact, the applications menu doesn't seem to have too much of a difference in terms of what you can see there. But uh, this is just a look and feel glance. Now, uh, something that's obviously quite, uh, I guess, refined and, and more beautiful on the latest release, and you'll see it there all of a sudden, a very um, Apple Mac-esque menu up the top right there. So beautifully, I guess you could say, cornered in this case here. So that's nice to see. Uh, obviously, we've always got the mascots. So we've got the jellyfish for 22.04. Uh, and then the Kinetic Kudu deer of sorts for 22.10. Now, let's take some further looks into this here. So, in fact, let's just quickly jump across and have a look at the, the file managers here. So, you can see straight off the bat, the default uh, coloring scheme for the latest release is a sort of a, a white looking background there for the file manager. However, uh, you can change all of this to the, the dark mode, which I have previously for the Ubuntu 22.04. But let's just do a bit of a right click and oh, something just uh, flew out there and uh, we should be able to have the same type of menus here. So this is what we call GNOME or GNOME files. So just a, a simple and easy to use file manager. No great differences between the two there, albeit a little bit more refined as you can see there on the, uh, on the Ubuntu 22.10 side. Now let's see, so that wanted to uh, glitch out for a moment there as you can see causing me to need to pause the video there for a second, but that's all sorted now. And let's see what else we've got. So let's have a look, a little bit of a look under the hood and we'll see what's going on here. Wow, quite the glitch out today. Let's uh, pause that again. And here we go. So let's start off with the kernel. So a couple of key distinct differences here. So Ubuntu 22.04 on the left hand side here. So this is the LTS, otherwise known as the long term service release. So you've got updates for the next five years or so. It is going to be working with a more stable, a little bit of an older kernel, let's say. So 5.15 kernel, whereas uh, Ubuntu 22.10. Now this is a short term release in a way. So you've got uh, nine months of, of guaranteed updates there. Then uh, Ubuntu 23.04 comes out and so forth, etc but certainly uh, almost what you might consider the latest and greatest kernel. So these non-long-term service releases for Ubuntu do tend to have quite a, a, yeah, a later kernel there, so better for your later hardware, CPU, microcode, uh, graphics cards, uh, just, just hardware in general there. So if you're looking, if, if for instance, you've got an AMD processor, <laughs> I've had this issue before, I got an AMD processor, I think it would be just cheery and working out of the box with uh, Ubuntu. I did actually need to upgrade to the latest version of Ubuntu so as to not get as many or really any, uh, I guess I had a bit of freeze in there uh, on an older version of Ubuntu. So always something to, to bear in mind basically there. Now let's see what else. So we could have a little look further at the, uh, so here we go, the GNOME desktop in interface that I've just shown you a little bit of there a moment ago. So we are currently sitting on the 42.5 variant for the long-term service release, whereas the latest release is a little bit of a, a certain upgrade there, so 43.1. So just some modifications, um, a bit of a clearing up of the, the, the visual interface a little bit there, but I, I just, I love this, uh, this 
I guess this OS menu here. So it is basically the same functionality, just a lot, a lot nicer to see there, I'd have to say. So always good. You can see uh, the first thing you might be looking for is where's the Wi-Fi, and here it is. In this case, this is Ethernet, so I can see wired there. Uh, I've got all the options for balanced mode night lights. So that's that's good. They've uh, they've decided to. Oh, actually, here we go. I'm going to pop this to dark mode in a moment, but they've decided to set up night light as a I guess a feature that, that's up front there from one click, which is good to see. So you can fall asleep at night if you need to. But let's switch to dark mode. It's, it's quite uh, interesting that it wants to show it as nice and beautiful. That was really easy to do. It's funny that they've actually decided to pop these two options here as main options because you're only going to set them up once and not need them again. But um, yeah, it is there either way. And uh, let's see, so moving on, I did say I was going to have a just a quick look at the apps now. The app's not something that I typically get into too, too much. You've always got the same basic apps uh, on uh, both machines here, and if you don't have one, you can install it on the other. There's no limitations between the long-term service release that, like I say, lasts for about five years, install for once and just run for five years, or the latest release that's got about nine months of, uh, of updates, like I've said there before. Now let's see what else that we would like to take a quick look at there. So let's say, uh, let's have a look at the, the RAM usage and the CPU usage on boot up. So CPU nicely idling out for both of them there. If we have a look at the threads, they're roughly the same. Don't worry too much about that. Now here's where it gets important. So the, uh, it seems like it's quite optimized. In fact, the, the latest release and I'll get into that. So I'm not sure if it's uh, small, uh, big enough for you to see, but on the Ubuntu long-term service release, we are dealing with about 900, uh, almost exactly 900 megabytes of RAM on boot up. Whereas for the latest release, Ubuntu 22.10, we are dealing with uh, 750 uh, megabytes or thereabouts on boot up. So certainly quite a difference between the two. Uh, always take these figures with a grain of salt. Something could be running in the background, but uh, I've tested this before and I have noticed that it does seem to be, maybe it's the GNOME uh, interface, the, the version 43.x. It's uh, been a little bit more optimized uh, to be a little bit easier on the RAM usage, which is what we're always looking for. That's really nice to see there. And uh, let's see what else we might take a look at is the, I'll just quickly mention some of the, the changes, basically what's new with Ubuntu 22.10 on the right hand side here. So we've got, uh, as they, as I've shown you, they talk about the improved system settings. So as we can see there, we'll just go to the settings menu and I'll just show you how that looks. So somewhat similar, let's uh, jump up there. So you've got all the same basic system menu options. Uh, some would say the, the older version is a little bit nicer, but um, you know, it is what it is there. Uh, next up, uh, there is a few notable apps ported to GTK4, so the GTK4 um, environment there, the new ones, so that's always handy to know about. Uh, we also have um, now, yeah, the new settings menu I've showed you there, uh, system-wide uh, WebP support, which is really good to see. I've been dealing with these WebP files for so long and they just don't seem to be supported on the system and, uh, well, I'm actually running as my default daily machine is Ubuntu long-term service release because it is a bit more stable. If you want the stability, you're going to go with the uh, the long-term service releases for sure. And uh, I've got actually this one right here. But WebP support is great if you're into the, the graphical game at all. So yeah, that's always nice to see. Uh, let's see, they've made a little bit of a change to the default audio server, something that you might not be too interested in, but it's called uh, Pipewire now. And uh, not the, the last but not least is, I've already mentioned this because this is on the list here that I've already spoken of, but uh, the kernel. So we are dealing with the, the Linux kernel 5.19 as I've already pointed out there as well. So that's pretty much it guys. Uh, this is the Ubuntu 22.04 LTS on the left hand side and then Ubuntu 22.10 on the right hand side there. You could say much of a muchness. Uh, the biggest differences, of course, is uh, a lot of people want the, the later and greater kernel on the right-hand side for their latest laptop or, or desktop machine. Whereas if you're looking for stability and you don't have uh, cutting-edge hardware, probably, almost definitely, looking to go with Ubuntu 22.04 instead. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button. Feel free to share the video. Always helps my channel out there. And I do hope to see every single last one of you there in the next one.
Cheers again, guys. Ciao. Yep, there's stability for you. <laughs> Jay. Classic on the latest releases. Let's see if we can break it. If you're still watching the video, break. Break. Yep. <laughs> Good stuff. At least it doesn't log me out. If you're still watching, that's really nice to see. Usually when you've been too uh, broke down, it would log you out, and that's super annoying. Okay, the gag session at the end is over. <laughs> see you guys, ciao.